I'm Dr Maxine David from the School of Politics at the University of Surrey in the UK. Um, I'm here teaching a course International Intervention in a Globalised World. It's my second time here in Belgrade doing this. My name is Elisaveta Blagojevic and I'm Professor at the Faculty of Media and Communications in Belgrade. University Singidunum. What we are basically exploring in the classroom is the notion of intervention, what we mean by it, what we invoke when we talk about it, um, but also the nature of the world in which that in, in the interventions are taking place. So we're looking at a number of different case studies, um, putting that in a specific context, both local, well, local, regional and international, and just really exploring what we mean by it, what differences there are, etc. So the title of my course is From the Discourse of Brotherhood and Unity to the Discourses of EU Integration, the case of transition in Serbia. And what we are actually trying to reach within this course that has this long and complicated title. Uh, the point is to try to understand what does it mean, term transition, in the sense of transiting from one ideology, the ideology of socialism, in this context is, that is expressed through this notion of brotherhood and unity, to liberal democratic or capitalist ideology, which is the dominant ideology when it comes to discourses of European integrations. The course that I taught this year is a, a course that tries to bridge between uh, social memory studies and, con and the studies of conflict and conflict transformation. So the main question that we ask ourselves together as a group in this course, whether uh, memory studies and social memory studies can help us think about our, the way we analyze conflict as well as the way we think about the transformation of the relationship between parties that are engaged in conflict. So in a sense the question is for us how do we remember collectively, how do we forget collectively, and how those processes of remembering, obliterating, or using our past for in the service of the present can help us in our analysis of conflicts and in our work towards conflict transformation. Looking at the world post-1991, so we begin um, essentially with Iraq in Operation Desert Storm, so 1990 to 1991, exploring this idea of a new world order and then looking forward over the next 20 years in a number of interventions, so Bosnia, Kosovo, um, of course we end up talking about Iraq 2003 as well, um, but also talking about natural disasters and whether we should intervene there. So here a key concept is the responsibility to protect and the question of whether governments have the responsibility to protect their people even against natural disasters. Um, and then we are ending at the moment with a contrast between the Libya intervention and the, at the time that I'm speaking, the fact that we have still not intervened militarily anyway in Syria and really kind of exploring the different issues between Libya and Syria, explaining the gap between the international response. The course is organized by questioning four political figures uh, from the perspective of contemporary political philosophy. This is the general framework. The figures are, the first figure is the figure of the opposition between friend and, and, and enemy. The second figure is the figure of community. The third figure is the figure of minorities. And the fourth fi figure, a little bit uh, more general term, it's the uh, popular culture. The goal of the course is not to offer any kind of uh, definite and final answers to the questions that are posed, but to try to, uh, the, to open up the discussion, you know, that concerns some of the most important issues that are part of this topic. The classroom is very different depending, so it's a very, very different environment this year from last year because what, what I try to do is really work with the knowledge, the experience and the ideas that we have in the room. Um, so necessarily, I think if, you are, if we're going to engage students, you have to reflect their interests, their ideas. Um, today is the final day 
of the summer school and I asked students what they wanted to do and the students who are not from the territory of the former Yugoslavia really wanted to explore the, um, the crisis, if you like, in, 19, in the 1990s in the former Yugoslavia and kind of get to the roots of that a bit more. And this has raised very interesting questions about when intervention ends. Um, again, going back to this idea of intervention and really fighting against this idea that intervention always has to be military. Um, and we are really ending on questions of responsibility and accountability. So students from Bosnia, Serbia, Macedonia, um, these are the, the uh, Balkan countries that are represented in the classroom today. Um, they are fairly pessimistic and we're exploring the reasons for their pessimism, um, why they think things can't change and where now intervention needs to come in order to bring about this change. It was a fantastic group to work with. People brought a lot of uh, interest, curiosity and the uh, real uh, wish to learn, to learn from each other, to learn from the text that we read, the videos that we watched and mostly from the wonderful discussions that we had uh, in the group. And I think in the process of learning people were also very patient to sit and listen to each other's experiences and backgrounds. We had people in the group who are uh, who did experience and still uh, carry memories and experiences that are uh, not easy but are part of the main two case studies that we have focused on throughout the course. One was the memory of, the, of 1948 of the Nakba uh, as a parallel event to the creation of the State of Israel and the other is the memory of the genocide in Srebrenica uh, in Bosnia-Herzegovina today and in Serbia. It was really a pleasure to work with uh, such a group of participants because they are very creative, they are very productive and I have to say I, I have learned a lot from them. In terms of the benefits to students, I think it is incredibly important, so speaking as somebody from the UK, coming from a country that is most often an intervener rather than being on the receiving end of any intervention, for me this is a very important learning process as well. It is about me as much as the students understanding that there are limits to our knowledge, limits to our experience and limits really to the transferability of that kind of experience. Um, I'm very happy to say that I have one British student in the class. Um, and it, it brings a different perspective. Um, I can see that this student is starting to shift their opinion. So this isn't about coming to um, uh, Belgrade, talking to students from the territories of the former Yugoslavia and helping them come to terms with their conflicts. It's about all of us coming together, talking about it and understanding that we learn from each other. So I know that I have learned as much from the students as they have learned from me. It is not that any of us are walk walking out with perfect answers or even necessarily any answers. But what we are all walking out with is a much, much better idea of the types of questions that we need to ask.